it's time to do a very late February Lumi box. <laughs> um, don't nudge the coffee. Hi. Yeah, I know. Okay, so as you know, a couple of I mean, December, I decided that I would only get the premium box going forward uh, because A, they were putting their price up, and B, so much skincare, and you know how much I care for my skin. Um, that being said, I have ordered the Jeffree Star skincare stuff. I listened. <laughs> I listened, and there's only like five or six pieces in it anyway, so I ordered them all from Black Swallow. God knows when they'll come because we're, we're, we're flooded in here. Um, Everyone's fine, we're all fine, we're very lucky, um, but we can't leave town. <laughs> Nothing's getting in or out. Uh, I, I fully expect that Wednesday, Saturday or Sunday, um, the supermarkets will be akin to a fucking cage match, but anyway, um, I, I stocked up yesterday. So, yes, I did get the premium box. I also did get things from Starbucks. But my my husband says I can't put gin and tonic in this. It's about 600 mil. <laughs> okay, but I also bought some things from their pop-up shop. First thing I got, I got two of them. One of them I already used this week. Um, it's the Frankie Hair Wraps, which when I got the first one, I think we mocked it or we... I mocked it on you guys' behalf. You probably liked it and thought, oh, that's pretty good, but I was mocking it because I didn't understand how good microfiber cloths and these thingy majiggers are for your hair, and also I couldn't figure out how to put it on my hair. I know how to do it now. You want me to do it, don't you? I'd been using the one I had from last year sometime to death. It's been through the wash about four times since I started using it. God knows when. Anyway, so it's this shape. You probably have already seen these, and it's like a little hood thing. And the button there, that goes the back, and then you get this bit, and it's like an old fashioned, you know, when you were a kid and you just wrapped the towel around and did this, and you put it down, and you get the little bit with the elastic. Obviously with your hair in it, and put the elastic round the button. And all you need to do is leave it there. This is my thumbnail today. Perfect. Perfect thumbnail. Um, all you need to do is leave it there for like 10 minutes and your hair is like twice as dry as it would have been if you'd have tried to dry it with the towel and rub the shit out of it and um they're really good for breakage like normal towels will break your hair quite a lot whereas microfiber doesn't i've seen improvements in my hair since using this still dry as fuck. still still dry as fuck she doesn't like it when people wear hats <laughs> is this a hat it's a hat anyway i will look up the price of these they're in the pop-up sale so if you have a lumi if you have a Lumi subscription, you can get access to the pop-up shop. These were very affordable. I bought another two because, you know, they last a few weeks, uh, a few days before, a few washes of your hair before you need to stick them in the laundry and out they come. They, they it's, it's, it's the same as what you wipe your glass with in your house, but it's in hat shape. <laughs> no, you can't wear the hat, no. And also, I'd like to apologise for past me's comments on this item, because I'm pretty sure I ripped the shit out of it, when actually it's awesome. I also bought, and these were very cheap, we had these in, I think, a premium box. There's one of them. Premium box, a little while ago. And they're really nice brushes, they're Model Rock eye brushes, and, like, you can never, uh, you can never have too many eyeshadow brushes. Um, you can have too much eyeshadow on. Hello. Uh, <laughs> I just picked my kid up. I'm probably scared a few of the other parents to uh, pick up. Can you stop it? Don't scratch me. It's not nice. 
Anyway, so I bought those. These, I th I'm pretty sure that this brush set was less than $5. But yeah, like I said, you do have to have the Lumi subscription to access the thing. So it's not as cheap as it sounds, but they're still worth it for me because I get the subscription. The last thing I got was a NARS blush. Because we got the travel size, I believe, or, or, you know, the trial size in the old... Uh, advent calendar there at Christmas and um, I'm hooked like I, 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 I'm I looking at more NARS products over there that's that's for another day we're not going to talk about that now because that was a look. oftentimes at the moment whilst waiting for the giant needle for my back yeah that's what this is not for you can have this bit she wants the cardboard you can have that. You sit down and chew that. You can't have the box. <laughs> um, yeah, so to catch up on, I don't know whether I told you about the specialist appointment, the neurologist, um, he said my back's a bit fucked. Well, actually, he's kind of rude. I don't like him. I'm going to, if I have to go back to a neurologist, I'm going to find a different one. He was very rude and very condescending. Um, I almost felt like I should have had a man present to be able to have my voice heard. You know, one of those doctors. Um... He said that my L5 is uh, protruding and very crushed and uh, is crushing into my left nerve, the one that runs all the way down my left leg. And occasionally it is also incurring incursioning on the right hand side as well because it's that far protruded. Um, and he showed me a picture of my spine where the two bits of bone that, you know, where the disc would fit between the two bits of bone are touching. Which I think is impacted. I think that's the right term. Don't know. Um, but uh, he's given me... He, he said, I don't want to do surgery on it because it would be a very involved and long surgery and it would in involve pins. I think it literally is fusing the two vertebrae that is what he's talking about. You can't just shave the disc for me. It's fucked. Even though he implied that I shouldn't even be in his office because what the fuck does it matter? Like, I was an imposition in his office. He just wanted to get me out the door. Um... That's how I felt anyway. This is the first time I've come out of a doctor's appointment and almost cried from uh, feeling invalidated by someone. Um, and yeah, long story short, I'm supposed to have had a nerve block in, you know, a giant fucking needle uh, today. But we're flooded in, the highway's closed. So can't go and get that. It's booked in for the 15th. 14th? 15th? I don't know. Um, how did I get here from Blush? Oh yeah, the reason <laughs> that I've bought a shitload of NARS stuff and also the new Morphe X Nyan, 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 Nyan. She's very pretty. I don't know who she is, but I, and also I don't know how to pronounce her name. Sorry if the camera's wobbling. It's Molly. Um, that collection from Mecca. I did also buy a skin tint from Kevin Aquan and a stick concealer from Bobby Brown both of which I'm wearing today and the bit meh actually the, I think the concealer will be much better on something that's not a skin tint because it's a very greasy feeling skin tint once it's on the skin and it keeps kind of it doesn't dry um so I can't recommend that <laughs> the main point <laughs> fucking off on one today. I did this in my last video. I, like, I filmed the second half of the video before. You are actually eating that cardboard, aren't you? I filmed the second half of the video before this, this morning, and I went off on one at the end of that as well, so I don't know whether it's the coffee or I've taken too many Adderall. Just get a new Nespresso machine. Shit is where it's at. Anyway, <laughs> I got a blush. <laughs> In, it's an orgasm blush. I don't know what that means, but um, seems to be their go to. There we go. I'll put the price of how much it was, I can't remember. It's, it's my colour, you know? It's my colour. Anyway, that was heavily discounted, and I've always wanted a nice blush ever since we got the tiny, teeny. Where's the baby version? So, baby and mommy, uh, basically this is a mini orgasm and a big orgasm, I suppose. Um, so, 
yay for us. Um, this <laughs> this is now just going to become a theme, isn't it? Because we've also got baby, <laughs> baby Tom Ford and mommy Tom Ford. They're even the same colour again, because. Of course they are. I'm sorry, my eyes are terrible. I was playing with the Juvia's Place palettes and I shouldn't be trusted with that much colour. I make too many choices. <laughs> anyway. Can you stop panting at me? It's very distracting. Did you eat your cardboard already? Okay, look, we need to move on, Molly. We need to actually open the box. Do you want to help Mammy open the box? Look, here's the box. This is... February's premium box. They all already sent me marches. <laughs> I'm just that behind. There's also I've got a kimchi cosmetics thing. I've also got a rant about fucking what's her name? Mothership lady, Pat McGrath. But we'll save that as well because I wanna have fun today. The camera's about to die, but don't worry. I purchased more camera batteries and a new thingy card the other day because well actually I say I did my husband got it for me from Harvey Norman so I didn't have to go out <laughs> okay this seems oh no okay I was like wow this seems like a not very full box and then realise there's a whole palette at the bottom I'll shut up right there's a smell coming out of here it's very nice but don't forget I have long COVID I hope you know that <laughs> so it could be it could be smell disgusting to someone else but to me it smells pretty what why are you saying please to me you want to go outside no. she just wanted to go out and bark at the neighbor so i've shut the door again and she'll be under there going <laughs> in a minute <laughs> hey that could be my thumbnail too <laughs> by the way my hair is an absolute state i think you still have to wear masks when getting your hair cut and um that kind of gives me some anxiety related to having COVID. Um, so I haven't got it done and I'm wondering what kind of at-home haircut situation we can do. I digress. Let us look at some Burmese Dream Lip Scrub in watermelon. It says invented in Australia. Not made in Australia, let me be clear. I feel like I'm being had by this product because it says invented in Australia and then it says made with natural ingredients. It doesn't know where it's made. Um, and on the lid it says distributed by Burmese Dream Australia. I feel like I'm, it, it feels a bit, you know, yes we invented it here and now we're paying children in China four cents an hour to make it. Let me see if it smells of watermelon. It's very thick. I don't like the texture. You know, like usually a lip scrub is like it sinks in really quickly and then you can wipe off the excess sugar. It's not very sweet either. But I mean, I, if you don't like really sweet one, but are in the market for a sugar scrub that's not very sweet, have I got the product for you? Um, this little tiny pot like that is sixteen dollars um, I don't use the lip scrubs that I have from Jeffrey even though I really like them so I probably won't probably like I probably shouldn't have stuck my fingers <laughs> it does smell of watermelons though so I mean if you like watermelon and want a lip scrub there's that one oh, oh, Bloody, didn't we have one of these last, last box? It's a Vita Oli, Vita Oli Self Harmony Roller. This unique blend balances emotions, harmonizing your emotional and spiritual side to better cope with external factors. This blend improves sleeplessness and has a soothing, calming effect on the nerves. It also helps with tension, panic, anxiety, stress, and nervous exhaustion in general. It's $24.95. Doesn't tell me what it smells of. What does it smell of? 
Where's the one I got last time? Here's the one we got last time. And it has leaked all over my stuff. That's over there, because it fell over. The lid is tight on, but it's still leaked. Lovely. Love that for me. Also, that one smells very strongly of lavender. I have oily hand now from the wrong smelling thing. I didn't know that had leaked. I just picked it up to see what bloody one we got last time. Um, fucking smells this. This one smells of rosemary and lavender. Ingredients, coconut oil and lavender. That's, that's it. That's all that's in here. Where's this? Let me pick up the oily bastard again. What's in this one? That one at least has, yeah, this one's rosemary, lemon, and peppermint. <sighs> the only good thing I can say about this is that lavender does actually help you sleep at night and alleviates headaches. So that one could be useful if you are prone to headaches uh, that stop you from sleeping. But I would not pay 25 plus for it. Um, yeah, okay. That one's now leaking as well. So these are fantastic. I really love them. Thanks. Lip gloss with rose extract in, I think that's a colour, in sass. By Rachel Couture. Rachel Couture. Rachel Couture. It says, bold leaf pigmented high shine vegan lip gloss. Infused with rose extract. Well, there's our colour. How in few, how how pigment how impress me with your pigmentation. This is a Bel Pierre product. Rachel Couture is a Bel Pierre product, so got a lung full of fucking rose off of this. It's quite a nice colour, I think. Uh, the words highly pigmented don't really spring to mind. But it's... If you like Turkish delight, <laughs> it's very, there's a lot of rose in there. Now let's tell me what this looks like. Yeah, I can't, like, there's shine because it's lip gloss, but there's their pigment. I can't see any. Um, kind of bit of glitter in it, but it's it's. I don't know where we've got highly pigmented from. Slightly pigmented. Let me put it on the back of my hand. I mean, it's hard to see. <laughs> it's hard to see on my lips, and but I am covered in oil, so. Oh, I think part of the color is that it's pigmented, right? Part of the problem is that it's the same color as my lips. <laughs> So it's kind of fucking blending in. I quite like the rose design on the component. I do not like the rose flavour. It has not dissipated and it hits you right in the back of the throat when you... That's a... That's a, that's a taste scent. That's a, that's a... Right, how much was that? Twenty four ninety five for a lip gloss. I don't know whether that's overpriced or just showing us inflation in action for a lip gloss, twenty four ninety five. Anyway, what else have we got in this box? Ooh, okay, we've had this before. I've had this before, unless it's a slightly different one. This is Lemon and Beaker Brightening Cream with Rose Essential Oil. And I think if I open it, it's got loads of bits of lemon floating in it. Oh no, this is a different one. This is the same company, different product. Um, we've had the one where it's a gel with the lemon, or like like actual lemon, but it's all floating in it. And it's like... This fucking smells of rose as well. <sighs> Absolutely reeks of rose. <laughs> Absolutely reeks of rose oil. Like, I know it says it's a rose rose flavour but I hope that it would have lemon in it as well just to kind of because it's lemon and beaker I thought it would be mostly lemon no nope. all rose everything rose not even gonna touch it because it's just 
so overpowering. Unbelievably overpowering, the smell of rose from that. Okay, that one, if you like rose, is $63. It's a moisturiser. Um, like, it's supposed to be a daily moisturiser, and it says the beautiful, comforting fragrance. This cream also brightens up. Uh, with this, with a beautiful, comforting fragrance, this cream also brightens the complexion and brings comforts to the skin while calming the senses. No offence, like, I, if you like rose, if you like rose-flavoured, scented shit, um, go for your life, but it's too overpowering for me. I'd much rather a citrusy, coconut -y situation. Um, yeah, that's... It smells even more strong than this, so I'm just gonna put that there. I wonder if I can find somebody to give it to, because I've already I took the thing off them. That being said, I didn't actually touch the creep. Mind you, I don't really want to wish. I don't want to lumber somebody with that, so I won't put it in any giveaways because it, it's very strong. I need to clean my glasses. See exactly what I did to my. <laughs> Eyes earlier. This this is why I shouldn't be allowed near the Juvia's Place palettes. There's about twelve colours on my eye because I just could not fucking stop. I shouldn't be allowed anywhere near. Like I look like a fucking bird of paradise or something. Oh, like a flamingo. What are they called? I look like a rainbow lorikeet. All that's missing is some green. <sighs> Like I said, makeup artists everywhere are safe. I'm not, I'm not coming for anybody's fucking brand. Clearly. Um, you know, earlier when I was talking about buying a shitload of stuff from Mecca and buying all the Nars stuff and the Morphe stuff, did I actually get to the point of that story? I can't remember if I actually told you the point of the story, which was that I went shopping at Mecca whilst high on about 10 milligrams of oxycodone. <laughs> Very bad for your wallet, let me tell you. Um... We have two items left in this box. I'm pretty sure this video is very long because I've talked about things that aren't anything to do with this box for a really long time. We have something that looks interesting. Stardust Cosmetics Interstellar Multifaceted Blush. And it's a loose powder by the look of it. I, uh, my interest is piqued. You have my attention. Oh, okay. Nice little S on it. And then this says Orion Stardust. I am... Oh, owned and made. See? Owned and made in Australia. That's what you need to see on your fucking shit when you're trying to make a claim like that. This is... 32.50. And it says she she buildable. And it's for all skin tones, so. Okay, okay. Where's the little sticky? There it is. Sticky prep. I don't want things that are made in Australia anymore. <laughs> well. Great. I'm happy. I've got pigment. Let's put it that way. Okay, so the label's very sticky and the little purpley bit, very loose. I don't even need to. It, you know what? It's really pretty. It's got some, some shine to it. Let me let me get more out because you know most of it went on my leg. It's entirely possible I'm choking to death on blush right now. For it here for me for an hour a week. Uh, send help. Very pretty. Yep. Yeah. Really pretty, not 100% sold on the component since it covered me in a cloud of blush, but it's a very pretty product. And 
are under made in Australia, like you're supposed to put on your things when you're going to go to the bother of laying a claim. Just don't put it. Don't just just don't go half ass with it. Just pretend that you are ignoring the fact that you've made it in China or whatever. It's also quite difficult to get, you know, like you put blush in the lid when you shake it out. It's quite, because it's square, it's quite difficult to line up the thing uh, to not tip it on your leg again because it's square. So whilst I like the product, the components that it's in need a little bit of work because there's this, this fucking messy, it's got, I've, I've, it's, de there's blush everywhere, man. <laughs> I don't remember if I said how much it was. It's thirty two dollars fifty. Um, you know, it says it's buildable, and I well believe it because my legs are built in blush. Um, <laughs> and you know, I put two layers on the back of my hand. It was very pink and very corally, sort of dark corally, pinky blush. I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, there's one more item in this box, and it is. A Bella Pierre 35 eyeshadow palette. Um, an RRP of eighty dollars. Right, I think I chose this, but like you know, the other color option was ugly. So I got Basic Bitch Ultimate Nude Colors. I got the Basic Bitch palette. <laughs> oh, those pans are tiny. Um, I think somebody needs to have a conversation with Bella Pierre about what a nude is. A nude is not purple. <laughs> That's a, there's a mirror and everything. This apparently is the nude collection. Before we even get into if the product is actually any good, first of all, the pan's tiny um, and the embossing is coming off from a lot of the pan shapes around the edges, so that's lovely. Um, I'm going to count how many we could probably out of, or is it 35, called nude? 20. Being generous, because I'm pretty sure this probably isn't a nude, but I left it, I let it go, I, I, I let it go, it's a bit too orange for anyone, and also, I have a feeling they're press clears, which could fucking die in a fire, um, yeah, so 20 out of 35 colours are actually being generous, if we're being generous, are nude, on this, um, <clears throat> just a small thing, it might be the best palette in the world, and I've gonna have to take back everything I've just said about bitching about it. Yeah, alright, okay, the shimmers are fine. Like, most of the shimmers are fine, apart from this is supposed to be a shimmer here. And, um, I don't know what happened, but it didn't, it's, it's shy. It don't want to come out the pan, it's the incredible disappearing man. And these two, here and here, I don't know what, what they are, but they've got like a bit of glitter in them, and not a lot else. And this guy here, no matter how hard you press, no matter how much you put on there, it's still quite sheer. And also, down here there are two colours, but they're exactly my skin tone, so I don't know if you can actually see them. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's already exactly what I thought it was going to be, <laughs> which is kind of trash. <laughs> um... I'll swatch the rest. I I will. I'm just don't want to. <laughs> okay. <sighs> There's the second two rows. So that's sorry, three and four. Now I'll talk about that fucking red. You see the red here. Um. I'm gonna put a picture of it of what it looked like in the pan before I touched it, because it doesn't look the same anymore. That's it now. You see that? It's like pale. It's not. It's not red anymore. Like before, I touched it. It looked dark red, like proper true dark red. Once I've touched it, it's not. And I scratch. Like you can see that I scratched it to see underneath. I ain't red no more. So that's 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 an issue. I don't know what. Like is it sprayed? I don't, I don't know. 
um, there's a couple of sleeper sort of, um, where are we? That one and that one. In the pan, they just look like mats, but they're low key shimmers. Like, like there's there's a foiliness to them, um, but that red needs to die in a fire. I feel misled by the red. <laughs> <laughs> I rhymed. And now I have it under my fingernails. It's nice. Right, okay. All of my hopes for this palette are hinging on this colour at the end. If that's good, it can stay. <laughs> because that colour on the end is just... It has so much potential. <sighs> if it's good. If it's not good, bin. <sighs> okay, you, you decide. You, you, you guys decide for yourselves. Um... This is the last row. This is that one that initially looked kind of green in the palette. And the one that I was just pointing at, that as soon as I stuck my finger on it, went kind of blue-silver. I'm pretty sure it looked a lot darker and greener than it does now. It's another one that has its Emperor's New Clothes dust, in my opinion. I mean, it's not a bad colour, but it's not what it looked like before I stuck my finger in it. Along with the colour next to it, in fact, that one... Fully looks like it's going to be like a foily shimmer. It even looks like it on my finger. But it's more of a, it's that second one from the bottom. It's more of a matte with a bit of glitter on it. It's just, I am bewildered by some of the shades in this. Let's put it that way. I'm in two minds as to whether it's going to stay in the house. Because not only if we're being generous, are there only, what was it, we counted 20 nudes in the nude palette. Um, several of them are copy, like duplicates. I'll show you what I mean in a second. I think Molly wants to come in because there's crying at the door. Okay, so let me move you a bit closer because you're very far away. These are the shimmery bronze ones from this palette. Now, I had to do this twice because I lost my place and I couldn't remember what one I was up to. And because they're that similar, I couldn't figure it out. So, they're all... <laughs> like, like, I mean, come on now. <laughs> How many... Let me have a look. How many actual shades of bronze are there here? Um, I would say there's three out of seven shades. Um, I would say this one, those two and that one, so those three, they're all the same fucking colour, and... That one and that one are pretty bloody similar, and that one and that one are pretty similar, even though this one, this one's got a bit of glitter in it, so I'll let it off. Um, yeah, you could have just saved, given us bigger pans and done less colours. If you're going to do this, you might as well just do bigger pans and be less colours, because it's just less effort for you, really. I know Molly, right? Um... It's the same with the browns that are in here. I, I'm going to do the browns now because I'm pretty sure it's very same, the, very similar with like, as I was swatching it, I'm like, I'm sure I just did this color because it's the fucking same brown. But let me just uh... okay, look, this is the browns in this palette. I promise I have not swatched the same three or four over and over. <laughs> That's uh, yeah, I it's self-explanatory. Like why? Why do so many pans? If you're not just gonna repeat the shades over and over again. Fucking this. I'm getting angry. <laughs> Even like this one and this one almost next to each other. Same fucking colour. <laughs> like why? That's this and this. There. It's the same colour. <laughs> We're next to each other in that they, they didn't even try and split it up. I'm being hard on this palette. It's 
You know what? No. I'm not going to apologise for being mean to this part. You know why? You know why? This is an $80 palette. And yes, it has £35 in it, but they're the smallest fucking pans in the universe. They're as big as, like, my finger. That's how big they are. See? Compared to my finger. We don't need a banana for scale, we've got my finger. That's how big the pans are. So yes, they have 35 colours, but they're tiny. And by the time you've taken into account the fact that most of the browns are the same three or four over and over again, and most of the brown shimmers are the same three or four over and over again, you've actually probably got about 12 shades. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would say eight of which aren't even nudes. <laughs> So it's not even a fucking, barely even a fucking nude palette. The thing is, is that, like, it sounds like I'm being mean to this palette. But they're selling this for $80. For $80, I can name so many other palettes that are better than this. Everything Jeffree Star sells for a start is cheaper than this palette. Let's have a look at um, Sephora. Let's bring up Sephora. Where's my phone? I can't believe I'm getting angry at fucking palette again, by the way. Let's do a price thing. Up to 80 bucks. There we go. A few results. You could have a Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills. You could have Master Matte by Makeup by Mario. You could have two Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows. <laughs> oh. Oh. Something I'm going to add to my cart. You could have Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Pro Pigment Palette Volume 2 for $65, $60.50. I've added it to my cart. It's half price. It's half price at the moment. I've added it to my cart. Don't you worry. You could have that instead of this for $20 less. I'll put a picture of the Norvina Pro Pigment Palette here so that you can see the difference. Um, you could have... A Huda, you could have two Huda Beauty mini palettes with nine pan palettes. You could have a Tarte in Bloom clay palette for sixty dollars. You could have the Amazonian clay full bloom actual nude palette. The, this is the basic. This is what I expected to get when I I thought basic bitch. I'm gonna put a picture of it here. This is what I thought I was gonna get color wise and color palette wise when I said nude palette. It's basic fucking. Claire in her Ugg boots buying a fucking pumpkin spice latte colour. And I was here all day for it. And they sent me that. The, it, it just go. it's endless. The list of things that you could have that would be, you'd be better off buying than this. So... Like, it was in my box. I didn't go out of my way to buy this. And there are a couple of shades in it that are okay. <laughs> but, first of all, it ain't nudes. And I'm not blaming Lumi Box for this because they don't choose the colours that Bella Pierre Cosmetics put in their shit. Um, yeah, so it's not nudes for a start. So let's just get that out of the way. And it says there's... 35 colours in it, there's not 35 colours in it. I would uh, generously say there is 20 colours in it. Uh, <laughs> only 8 of which are new actual shades. You know, I always do the math and I'll put it here somewhere. Um, but there's like two things that I will keep from this, which is the multifaceted faceted blush and the lip gloss probably um i will not be keeping the eyeshadow palette because it will probably make me angry every time i see it because there are so many other things you could get for 80 dollars <laughs> that aren't this palette um and the lip scrub is very thick not i didn't like it um and obviously the cream is the rosiest rose thing that I have ever rose, so that will also not be joining me. And I'm pretty sure because of the fact that the Vita Ollie Harmony Rollers are still leaking everywhere across my desk at the moment. 
This is the new one. You see all that oil on it? That's the new one. Yeah. Um, I'm probably going to put those in the bin just, in, just, just to not have them everywhere across my desk. Though they do smell nice. I, I will give them that. If you have headaches and stuff, lavender oil is where it's at. But probably not in that distribution way. Probably just some drops or some on your heat pack or pillow or a flannel. I mean, um... Yeah, they're just they're just sitting there idly leaking onto my desk, <laughs> which for twenty twenty four ninety five is is an interesting packaging choice. But here you go. Anyway, okay. If you've enjoyed this ranty box video, you hit the subscribe button. This is in no way a reflection on the people that make and distribute Lumi boxes. They don't make the products that's in them, um, and a lot of them are just things that I wouldn't get along with. Um, the Bella Pierre palette needs to die, die in a fire. <laughs> but other than that, the rest of it's just things that I don't really get on with. Um, so that's fine. Yeah, anyway, this has been fun. <laughs> I'm going to go and buy a load of shit off Sephora, inclu including the Novena, which I'll put here again, um, palette. Um, I'm going to get it before I put this video out and tell everybody else that it's 60 bucks instead of 120. <laughs> okay, bye. Air. Uh, what do you mean air? Uh? Okay, Molly, we've got to do things now. No. Look now, we've got to do. We've got to show them something.